Hi, welcome to another Asbury Woods virtual visit. I'm Sarah. And I'm Steve. We are two of the educators that help care for the animals at the Nature Center. Today we're going to give you a behind the scenes tour of how we keep our animals happy and healthy. Asbury Woods has a long history of caring for animals that are used in our school and community programs. This is a picture of the first animal care shelter from the early 1970s. It had multiple sizes of enclosures and there was even an outdoor turtle pond. In the late 1970s, most of the animals moved inside to what is now the Hemlock Conference Room, although a few, like this crow and Hobby, the red-tailed hawk, remained in outdoor enclosures. From 1977 to 2003, the animal exhibits were housed on the enclosed porch. Some of you may remember seeing chickens or Chum the Iguana on visits to Asbury Woods. When the Nature Center was expanded in 2005, the animals moved into the new exhibit hall where they can still be seen today. We don't have any chickens or iguanas anymore, but we do have over 20 live animals that live here at the Nature Center. Some of our animals are native to this area, meaning that they live in the forests, fields, and swamps around here. But others are ambassador species. The ambassador species animals aren't native to this area, but they represent animals that are. And they're just a little bit nicer to keep as education animals. One of our ambassador species is Finnegan the ferret, representing the weasel family. Oh, hello again. I'm about to start Finnegan's daily care. Why don't you come around and join me? I gave Finnegan to Sarah, who took him in another room for his enrichment time or exercise time. In the animal room, we can access all the animal enclosures. This is where we store their food, their supplies, everything we need for their daily and weekly care. Let's take a look inside Finnegan's cage as I start cleaning. Every day, Finnegan's waste is removed from his enclosure and his litter is replaced after some spot cleaning. He eats a pellet food made for ferrets that gives him all of his nutrients. We make sure to give him new pellets each day. He also gets fresh water and some clean towels or t-shirts to snuggle up in while he sleeps. Now that Finnegan's enclosure is reset, let's check in with him and Sarah to see what enrichment he's been up to. Finnegan and I have been having a great time doing his enrichment activities. For all of the animals that need enrichment time, we try to plan activities that would mimic what they do in the wild. Finnegan has been exploring tunnels, looking for treats, just like he would find mice or other small animals to eat in burrows. I'm going to pass Finnegan back off to Steve and go take care of some of the other animals. I'll meet you back in the animal room. Oliver the Netherlands Dwarf Rabbit is another of our ambassador species, representing the cottontail rabbits native to our area. Each day, Oliver has his bedding replaced, receives fresh hay and pellet food, some fruits or vegetables, and fresh water. One of his favorite treats is a piece of banana rolled in uncooked oats. In addition to having daily enrichment time, Oliver also has toys in his enclosure. During his enrichment time, Oliver enjoys chasing and pushing this large cardboard tube, as well as just having a large open space to hop around. We'll often see Oliver binking or kicking his legs up while hopping to show that he's enjoying his enrichment time. Each of the three box turtles at Asbury Woods has their own enclosure. Waste is removed from their enclosure daily and the bark covering of the floor is replaced. You might notice that they have a large water dish. That's because turtles will often soak in shallow water to help their skin, shells, and digestion. Each day the turtles get fresh water and have their enclosure misted. 
Box turtles are omnivores, so in addition to getting fruits and vegetables in their enclosures, the turtles are also offered earthworms and other foods for protein. This is Fridge enjoying a nice juicy earthworm during his enrichment and feeding time. The two toads at Asbury Woods have enclosures with plenty of leaves and logs to give them places to hide. Each day the toads are given fresh water and are misted to keep their home nice and moist. Toads are carnivores, so these guys enjoy crickets or worms at mealtimes. This is George enjoying a mouse for his meal. Both the snakes are carnivorous, but our garter snake is smaller than George, so he eats worms or pinky mice. The snakes get fresh water, an enclosure cleaning, and a light misting each day. The bass and bluegill at Asbury Woods are fed a variety of commercial fish food designed specifically for freshwater fish. They also like an occasional worm as a treat. Our bullfrog troll may look like a statue, but he's very real. In addition to catching bugs that fly around the nature center, troll enjoys having an earthworm for a meal. The four water turtle species at Asbury Woods have a lot of space to swim and roam in their indoor pond and the surrounding areas. These turtles are fed a mix of commercial water turtle food, crab meat, and dried shrimp. Cleaning the turtle pond is a big job, and we rely on student volunteers to help us out. Since 1979, trained student volunteers have helped the staff at Asbury Woods care for the exhibit animals. Let's take a look at some of the tasks that these awesome volunteers help with. The animal care crew takes on big cleaning tasks like scrubbing the turtle pond and the fish ponds. They also do regular cleanings of the other animal enclosures, making sure that our animals are living in a healthy environment. The animal care crew is involved in every part of taking care of the animals, not just cleaning. The crew members also help to feed the animals. And make sure the animals get their enrichment time.
If you are at least 12 years old and are interested in learning more about being on the animal care crew, ask your parents to go to the Asbury Woods website in the volunteer section to learn more. Thank you for joining us today to see how we care for the animals that make Asbury Woods their home.